Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a vlog style video because I'm going to be taking you guys through a week in my study routine. I'm going to be taking you guys through my timetabling, my active recall, like as I'm doing it, my space repetition, everything. Because I got hundreds, I mean hundreds of questions on these two last videos that I posted that you can watch here, all about my study routine, active recall, space repetition, all that stuff. And you guys were like, but how do I do this practically? So if you're interested to watch that and you want to see how I practically do the things that I've been telling you, uh, then keep watching. If you're new to this channel and this is your first time watching my videos then you might want to go and watch these two videos first before you watch this one because this one will make much more sense um, th that's the videos that I've just been referring to in the intro I promise you you want to watch those two videos first they won't take you that long to watch and if you're not new and you've been what enjoying my kind of study series then please give this a, a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed okay now let's go <laughs> Okay guys, so yesterday was the first day of my new module. I'm doing forensics and pathology. And so what I like to do at the beginning of a module is I use my formula that I talked about in uh, my how to study anything video, in both of those videos. And I, um, I do my formula, but before I can do my formula, I have to basically know what the module is like, is set up like. I have to understand everything. Usually this will take me like a whole half a day and it's probably gonna take me probably the, the rest of the evening to do that and I find that this is the most important part of my study routine because it helps me to be organized and I always talk about organization if you're not organized you're just going to plan to fail if you don't fail if you fail to plan right so I go through my knees Moodle and they usually upload everything to do with the module on Moodle especially now that it's online so I go on there and I look at the timetable of the module how it's set up I look at how long the module is going to be I look at how many classes I have how many lectures more importantly that I have um, and then I also look at the just the module information because in my module information they will tell us usually like what the exam is going to be based on or if they have exam questions for us to study from they will give us those as well so that is what I'm going to spend the rest of the evening doing this is my first day of studying I would usually actually do this the day before my um, module starts but I was getting my hair done <laughs> Ow. Um, I was getting my hair done so I didn't do that so I'm doing it today so I, I am already a day late and by the time I finish this you guys will see today on my first day I'm probably already like six lectures behind so I also need to study today which is why I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible it's 63 questions so my module like I said is three weeks so that's about 21 days of studying maybe 20 because or maybe 19 because I don't study on a Saturday so that's two days off so 63 divided by 19 will give me how many tasks I do a day um, which is how much guys math people comment down below because I can't calculate that so 20 40 60 so maybe three questions ish um, that I'll be doing so that makes it super easy so today because I'm two days behind I have to do six questions so I will do the first six questions here um, that's my study for today and literally that will probably take me about three hours because that will probably be covering the first few lectures and that's it that's all I'm studying a day that's why it takes so little so anyway that's what I'm going to be doing I've been rambling a little bit but I just want this video to be really detailed so that you guys can understand my study schedule and how I managed to get really high grades and also study smart and do my life like I have managed to film two videos today and also be able to study and do all of this um, because I am organized so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna look through the rest of this and then I'll come back to you in a bit when I'm actually either studying or um, doing more other things so yeah Boom, so I have finished doing my timetable. So I've basically made it so that I do, I'm do. i doing about five questions a day, um, which means that I will finish studying the date, just the day before my exam. And the reason, and that's kind of pushing it tight, but because I, I've scheduled out two days in the next two weeks that I don't study, which is my, on um, Saturdays. Um, and 
that's if I don't study in the evenings of Saturdays. But I just take I've just taken out the whole day just in case I don't study those days. Um, but I should be fine because the question it's only five questions a day, and if I do it and I feel like I don't have much to do that day and I want to do more, I can. Um, so I try to give myself as little as possible while still finishing the um, stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I've just done. Um, so the next clip you're gonna see is probably a time lapse of me studying. Um, I'll also be showing you how I'm going to be studying those. Hey lovelies, it is currently midnight. Um, I'm so tired because I should have went to bed like two hours ago. But basically I'm happy because I actually did manage to go through all five of the questions I was supposed to go through today. And fortunately they were just covered by one lecture. So that's good. Yeah, so basically I've managed to do all five of these questions going by going through one lecture. And these are questions I was actually supposed to go, go over on the 30th, but I've just done it today because it covers the lecture that we did today in class. And it just makes more sense to go over that first. So what I do is read that lecture, as you can see here, and then write the question next to the lecture and then answer it without looking at the lecture. Go over it again and put anything in that I forgot. So if it's in pink, it means I got it right. And then where I didn't get it right, like for example here, I just missed out one point here and I put that in red. Um, but basically I got that question right. I don't have question for all of the slides because I don't really need to. I, um, and I know that because I know the questions that I need to go over from the exam list. I hope you understand what I am saying. Um, yeah. So that's day one of studies done and I am on track. Woohoo! <laughs> Guys, look, we have a guest in the vlog. With a clean, uh, clean head. Oh my gosh, guys, you know why New has not been in any of my videos? Why have we not done Nutella Talks, Nuete? Because we've just been busy. <laughs> you know, life is just... <laughs> it's because my guy did not have a trip. So new refused to be in my no, videos. But the, the previous um, videos where I just had the deadest trip, but I'm still on there. <laughs> um, guys, I'm coming along. If you guys are new to my channel, you won't know. Well, you will know him if you've watched my other videos. But I know this is supposed to be a study vlog, but I just thought I'd update you that, that today's the next day. And have I studied, babe? Uh, have you? No, no, but have I not been productive regardless? Yeah, you've been productive, but you haven't studied. Yeah. <laughs> So I just thought I'd come on here, guys, to let you guys... Obviously, I provide the motivation. Okay. And uh, the enforcement of the discipline. Okay. <laughs> guys, I'm just updating you to be real, to, to just show the reality that I don't always study every day. So what... Today, I felt spent the whole day making YouTube content. I've uploaded a video about how I use my iPad to study, which you can watch if you haven't watched which it already. Right, right here? Is it, what is this yeah, like? that's right. <laughs> You can watch it guys if you haven't uh, watched it already. So tonight, what I'm actually going to do before I go to bed is I am going to watch a lecture. But I'm going to watch it in bed and I'm not going to do any active learning. I'm going to do passive learning, which is just, I'm just going to watch the lecture before I go to sleep. That way I still feel like I've done something today and I will have done something. Um, so that's the plan. And then tomorrow I'll catch you guys when I'll actually be studying. Good morning guys, I'm quickly just um, doing my intro right now because I'm in my lecture and I'm about to film me going through the lecture and also taking my active recall notes so you guys can see it hopefully i'll be able to show you a little bit of that um i'm currently missing my lecture right now so i need to actually go back but i thought i would just let you know that that's what i'm doing it's currently six o'clock in the morning um i'm exhausted so yeah um i missed the beginning bit when the lecturer was telling us like by the way i'm going i'm just going through the lecture to tell you guys um the high yield stuff um so i'm just going to go through the main points and she also told us the book that we should be using to study so that goes with the stuff that i've been talking about um about just asking your t teachers paying attention when they say these things turning up to lectures because this lecture is not pre-recorded and they'll just upload the physical lecture so it's important to turn up so that you can hear the stuff when they're talking about like recommended stuff and like high yield so yeah uh archaeology uh, and all other criminalistic uh, traces uh, everything is uh, sent to Vilnius and okay guys a little ad break <laughs> as i am doing this b-roll 
Um, a lot of you have been asking me, especially on Instagram, if my active recall method works for like high school level. And I, it definitely works and it just have to, has to be tweaked. So I just thought I would kind of quickly check in. And if you're watching this and maybe you're in high school or know someone who's in high school and want to tell them how to do it, my recommendation would be to just do past papers. So continually test yourself using previous past papers if you have access to them. I'm actually going to do a full post on my Instagram about this, about using active recall in high school. So if you're interested in that, then you should definitely follow me on Instagram. But I thought I would just check in and talk about that because I forgot to talk about it during this vlog. So I hope that is helpful for my high school students. It is now half past eight. So I've been up for two and a half hours. I'm so tired. But we've gone through a lecture and then we did a practical. So you guys would have seen maybe in the, as I was doing a B-Well, I don't know when I'm going to do it. But um, I managed, the teacher said to us that she would go through the shorter version of the lecture and basically go through all the stuff that she thinks will come up on the exam, like high yield stuff, because the lecture was literally 105 slides, which would take fl all, flipping all day to go through. So she just went through it. Um, quicker with the most important slides which was really good and helpful so I managed to make 21 questions from what she said from what she was going through and she was going through it quite fast so it was hard for me to um, write the questions but I still wrote the questions because she was also repeating um, a lot in the lecture so some of you asked me like how do I write questions and also pay attention you just have to learn how to write quickly and um, also you realize that you will learn and you will retain the information because usually lectures repeat themselves, like they'll go into more detail. Um, for example, if I've got a question that says, what are the six, um, I don't know, that question I have here was how to identify a newborn corpse. Um, that That's a question. And in the lecture, she'll have a slide that has all the points and then she'll go through each point in detail. So that will help you to um, learn and also retain that information as you're going through the lecture so you just wrote the question and then you can pay attention right to the rest of the lecture as the teacher is now explaining that and then you're learning that information at the same time so concentrate on obviously paying attention to the um lecture but also making your questions so it's, it's kind of like an art <laughs> and a science so you just kind of have to learn to um to do both uh, and the more you turn up to lectures and the more you go through the lectures, it's easier. Now, I also we also did a practical after that kind of tests your knowledge from the lecture. So that helps as well to solidify that information. Um, and then now we're going through the answers with the teacher. And then after that, I will usually then go through the questions that I wrote and trying to retain as much information as I can, to recall, sorry, as much information as I can from the lecture. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I might do it straight after the lecture um, because we still have to go through the questions right now. We're just taking a little break. Um, but I'm really tired, so I might sleep and then do it after. But I like to do, to answer my questions straight after the lecture because the information is still in my head and it helped me again to solidify it. Um, but sometimes I can wait till like the next day. But usually I like to do it straight after only because I'm not, realistically, I'm probably not going to remember loads, um, though I can remember some. And I don't want to have to do it tomorrow for the first time because um, I'm going to go through it again anyway. But um, I'll sh tell you guys about that later on, like the space repetition part of it. So I just thought I'd explain that a little bit so that you know where I'm at with my lectures. So let me go back to finish this practical. OK, so one of the questions that you guys actually asked me a lot was if I go through these questions, if I make a separate document to the questions, then where to my answers, basically. I don't know if I'm making sense. Um, so I do do that. So this is just, I just basically opened a quick notebook and then I wrote all these questions, right? But um, what I will do, what to answer them, is I will create another, like, thing, another page. So here, I'll start another page and then I'll start answering the questions one by one so that it separates the questions from the answers. So here, as you can see, this is my neurology um module from last year I have the questions and answers on this module on this page in this folder but I'll have the questions separately like how I have these questions separately and then I'll have answers on a separate page like here I'll be starting to make the answers so you can do that um, as well if it's easier for you to do it that way but or sometimes the, like I said before the teachers themselves will give us the question so it will be in a document like this so 
yeah. It is now, what time is it, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Now I'm going to study again, so I thought I would take you through what I'm about to do. So I'm, in the next few minutes or whatever, I'm going to be explaining to you my space repetition method and also what I do after I've done my questions um, and also doing it as I'm show, showing you as I'm doing it. So what I did, you guys saw, was make those questions um, earlier. So what I'm going to do is answer those questions and try to remember. So what I do is I make my space repetition um, timetable myself for the most part unless it's like flashcards so I basically have a key um, on my iPad and the key is the someone commented in my last video they call it the traffic light method so that's what I'm going to call it the traffic light, traffic light method so it's my red green and yellow method basically my interval timing goes like this if something is in the red then I go over every every one two or three days if something is in the yellow then i go over it every three five or seven days and if something is in the green then that means i know it more so I, I can take longer breaks before i go over it again so that's every five seven and ten days for example the lecture that i did the other day that was on monday i got most of it or if not all of it right so it was in my green all of it all, my, all the questions that i wrote in this lecture they all went into my green pile and that was on monday so what I will do is I will go over it again on after five days. So that would be Friday. So tomorrow is when I'll go over those questions again to make sure that I still know them. And when I do go over them again, I just write the date. So I'm not going to go over that lecture till tomorrow and I'll just write the date, tomorrow's date on there. So tomorrow will be the 23rd, I think, I don't remember. Um, so I'll just write the 23rd on the lecture and then the next time I go over it, I know, or when I, if I'm confused, when was the last time I went on it, the date is on there. So that's what I do. So now I'm gonna go over these questions and then I'll come back to you guys in a second um, to show you what I got right and what I got wrong and all that stuff. It's literally me sitting down for like probably the next hour trying to use all the last neurons of my brain to recall. It's not just me passively being like, oh, what was that? Oh, I don't remember it, next question. No, like I will sit there for a good 10 minutes and remember as much as I can. So that's what I'm about to do now. So when I, when some of you ask me like, how do you remember, it's, how do you remember, I don't remember after a lecture. One, you must not be paying attention. Two, um, in the lecture, of course, you're paying attention, you're concentrating, you will. And two, when you're doing the active recall after it, you need to actually apply yourself. And also three, maybe your memory is actually lowered because you know, you're not sleeping well or your diet is bad or you're not exercising, which is something that I struggle with as well with those things. So you need to look into also the health part of it of why your memory might not be working as well as it could be, functioning as well as it could be. So yeah, now I'm gonna answer those questions. your girl has managed to do all the 10 questions that I um, wanted to do today. So basically it turns out that um, that lecture that I went through basically covered 10 of the questions of the exam questions that I was telling you guys about that you guys know that I'm using to track my progress. So um, I'll show you in a sec, but um, it covers 10 of them that I've actually um, take them off as orange because she hasn't actually uploaded the lecture after she gave it so I need to go over it. Um, I I think I'm about 60% I remembered so I would say they are orange. I would leave them as orange. So I'm probably going to go through them again this evening if she uploads it. Um, if she doesn't then I'll go over it tomorrow because there was little bits that I didn't remember. Well not just little bits. I think I'll re I remembered 50-50, maybe 60-40. So I definitely need to go over it again, as opposed to the, yes, on Monday when I went through that first lecture, I remembered most of it, uh, about 90%. So that would be green. So this is about 50-50, so I would say it's orange. And then if it was like less than 50%, I would say it was red. That's how I classify that stuff. Um, so I'm really happy about that. It means I'm on track. It means that I can catch up with more work later on if I want to. It's currently half three in the afternoon, so that took me about an hour and a half to do 
uh, for me to try and recall all of that. So I actually have other things to do. I've got content to create and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go get ready, go create some content, edit some reels for Instagram, all the other stuff. So this answers another question that I get, which is how do you manage it all? This is how. If I was not organized or not, didn't have a timetable, I'd end up spending the whole day studying when I don't need to. So yeah. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> so this is just a B-roll of me creating content for Instagram because this is what I did that day. Um, as well as studying but I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually running another can help giveaway but this time through my Instagram so if you're interested in one month of can help subscription then go over to my Instagram to find out how to enter um, I just thought I'd let you know so that you don't miss out as well and if you've made it this far then you obviously are a ride or die so yeah guys my makeup looks awful I'm so sorry <laughs> It's been a long day of filming and I was crying. I got my COVID test done. Anyway, um, I just came on here quickly to, I just thought of something. Some of you might be watching this if you've made it this far and you might be like, well, your timetable doesn't really work for me because I have so much work. Cause I realized that my program is completely different to your program. For example, a lot of people usually have more, more than one module at a time. So, um, and whereas my module, my uni only does one module at a time. So it's a cycle, it's a monthly cycle basis. So you've, do one module at a time. So you just have to tailor it to your system and your program. So if you're doing three modules at the moment, just add on the other work that you have to do. So for example, I'm only doing one module, but I do still have a whole thesis to do. So when I'm not filming um, how I do my regular studies, I am also writing down my, I'm also writing my thesis in my spare, like not spare time, but in all the other time, I'm just not vlogging it. I also have a emergency medicine module to do online. It's like an online hybrid lab thing that I have to do. I'm doing that as well sometimes. So I spend about three other hours as well doing that. So I just thought I would put that disclaimer out there that if you're doing more than one module, just add it into that formula of amount of work you have to do divided by the amount of days that you have to do. That will give you how much daily work you have to do. So yeah, I just thought I'd say that and then so that you guys can apply that as you wish. That's all, okay. I've talked so much in this vlog. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'll see you So I was about to edit this video and then I just realized that I literally left you hanging from the last clip. <laughs> and because I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna study tomorrow and then I just never came back. Um, well, to you, I will have come back because this would have been the next clip. But basically it's been like a week since that last clip because I ended up just like not being able to study properly for a good week because I had my dissertation due. So I ended up spending like the whole week doing my dissertation and I didn't want to film that because it had nothing to do with this video. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And then I handed that in last Monday or whatever. And then I had about two more days, three days to study for what I was doing to carry on for my forensic module. And then I had my exam on Tuesday, today is Friday. So that's what happened. But I did find something really good to share with you guys in the process, not find, but rediscover. And it is Quizlet because you all know, like I'm, this whole video is about active recall, my study flow, everything. And a lot of you guys have been also asking like what happens if I'm behind, if I have don't have time to do active recall, you're finding it harder or you're finding for you yourself to start off with that is really time consuming. So I started using Quizlet again uh, because they sponsored me for some Instagram posts and then I, I've used them for a long time, like before, and I hadn't used them for a long time. And then they got in contact with me, sp sponsored some Instagram posts. So then I was like, oh, okay, I remember why I really loved this because it was actually really helpful. So I thought I'll show you quickly what I started to do on Quizlet. This is not sponsored, but I just wanted to show you. Um, and if it was sponsored, it would be because I really like it anyway. <laughs> um, what I started to do because I only had three days. So I'm so sorry, I'm just like, pointing my hands a lot. It's not because I got my nails done. <laughs> it's really not. It's just because I use my hands to talk a lot. But I'm really sorry about that. I will. What I started to do was reading my lecture notes and then making my flashcards straight away. And I, I use flashcards on my GoodNotes app as well, as you guys know. But they're handwritten and I really like the Quizlet ones because it was just typed and I could put a lot more information in. And I just thought it was... Well, it wasn't quicker, but I just liked how it was working. So I've got two... Um, decks here. I've got my clinical pathology deck and what I was doing was literally just taking notes but in the f form of flashcards so for each lecture the same way I do the questions I would just write the um, the question on one side of the flashcard and, and then on the other side I'd write all the answers on there instead of doing my question and answer 
um, version of just writing the questions and then answering them later. I was literally just making the flashcards as I go and I found that this was quicker and because I only had three days to study and it meant that I was also obviously learning as I was going. So I would literally look at a lecture, the first slide of this lecture was the definition of pathology. So I wrote what is pathology and then on the other side I put the scientific study of disease. And then the next slide was about something else, it was about what the goals of pathology were. So then I just um, put what it was as I'm going. Um, and also trying to learn it as I'm going. And then at the end of the deck, I then went through it again, um, trying to answer the questions as much as I can. Um, so that took me maybe like an hour, two hours to do that. Um, and that was for like, I think a good three lectures. Um, it was really quick, I did it really quickly. And then I already had the flashcards made. So all I needed to do the next day was just go through the flashcards because they were already in that format. Usually what I would do is write all the questions down and then go and answer them and then make flashcards. So I didn't have time for that. So I just skipped that middle process. So I thought I would show you that really quickly because I thought it was a really um, efficient way of studying. I was hoping I could share it with you today, my results, because I really think I did really well for the exam. Um, I think I might have gotten 90% and above, I think. Maybe, maybe high 80. Fingers crossed. And I thought my results were going to come out today, so that would have been perfect to put, put it together. But to be fair, I'm not uploading this till Monday. So if they do come out, the next clip will be me showing you my exam results from the way I've studied, so that you've seen me from the beginning till the end for the last two and a half weeks of how I study a module. Obviously, it's a very short module, but it's how I study in general. So it was a perfect way to show you. Um, so that you can see like really this works and what I do but I haven't got my results but if this video goes up before my results come out I will put it on my Instagram so follow me on Instagram so that you can see what I got from this study method and how I did in the exam so don't forget to follow me on there so that you don't miss that so that is the whole video guys I really hope this was helpful to you and thank you guys so much for getting me nearly to 50,000 subscribers I'm so excited I really need to do something big about that um, I thank you I just thank you for following me and I hope that I can really help you because that's my whole aim is to help you so yeah i'll stop talking now this has been a really talking vlog i'm so sorry <laughs> see you guys on the next video bye oh also the giveaway winner from the last video i have put it in the community tab and i've also put it on my instagram vlog on my instagram i've also posted it on my instagram so if you are you know wondering you can find the winners for the last videos giveaway on either of those. Now I'm going. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Bye.